They have, he has stepped outside after a voting binet. Hi, Kore, Kore ga yasura bite ga tatsuite wa shomen genkan no mae ni yenchu. Plus n, enchu. You heard that kanji can be read as yen, but it's n, enchu for pillar. Hi. And you got Tachinara B. Dono Modo no. Dono Modo mo. Bika bika ni maga. Migagi. Migaki ager rare. Kanari. Ripana oyashiki data no daro. Can you say window for me again? Mado. Perfect. Let's go, Brito. Dono. Dono Mado. Um, the. Uh, so, Korega here. Uh, Yatsure Yasuragi Teda ga. Uh, this is Yasuragi, Yasuragi Mansion. Perfect. Yep. Uh, Do you know how Kore is different than Koko? Like you translated it perfectly, but I just you said something earlier. Hi, Kore is this. Perfect. An object. Koko is a place. Yep. Hi. Uh, katte wa. So here it's actually katsute, katsute. katsute. Um, which means formerly. Katte, with the glottal stop, has a totally different mean, which means um, selfishly. Formally. Katte wa formally shomen genkan. Formally shomen genkan is um, uh, like the front, the front entrance. Hi. Front reception. Yep. Uh, no money in front. The front of the entrance. Um, top of the front. The front. The there's a pillar. Hi. That stand. Uh, narabi. Does narabi insinuate there's more than one pillar, or that there's exactly only one pillar? There's more than one, and they lining up. Right. Perfect. Dono Dono Mado Mo which which window? Um which window? Uh what what about it? Um You correct that dono mado means which window. What particle is attached to that though? Hi, Domo Mado Mo. So that totally changes the meaning. Domo Mo. Domo Mo is um, whichever one. Yes, all of them. Yep. <laughs> all of them. So all of them. Um. Pika pika ni shining. Hi. Pika pika chu right shine shiny. Yes. Um. Miga ki agerare. Agerare they they stand. Agerare. Or they um ageru has this kanji. Not this kanji. So lift up. You're right. Ageru means up. Lift is not mikagi though. Lift up is would be something else like mochi ageru or something, which is to hold up. Um, but migaki means to polish. Polish. Oh. Right, they shine. They polish up. 
Um, what was polished up? The window, all right. of them. But he instead of saying subete, subete no mado, meaning right. all of the windows, they say whichever windows. <clears throat> yeah. No mado mo. Subete is kind of ugly as a word. Like, this is like a book, so you make everything sound pretty. Um, it's kind of like how we see use mukol and mukao all the time in the book, but you don't really use iku. Iku is boring. You want to use iku. But in real life, you might say subete no mado. I don't know. But dore no mado mo sounds more literary. It's like every single window, no matter which window you look at, they are all pika pika because they've been polished up. Hi. Um. Kanari Ripana. Ripana are wonderful. The Kanari here is um Kanari is a adverb that means like quite, so quite wonderful. Quite quite wonderful. Um Oyashiki Tata no Daro. The rooms, they are. What's the yashiki the mean? The thing of the room. Yashiki. Uh, no, I'm sorry. The mansion. Hi. The mansion is. No, daro, isn't it? Yes. What's it? What are you saying? And so in this case. Daro has multiple meanings depending on context. We're ending daro with a period, not a question mark, and not really a like, nah, he's not talking to anyone. So there's a very specific tone going on here with a period, which is probably. You could also theoretically use probably. I wonder for it. I wonder if, but that would be more of the question mark, right? I wonder if this the, the yashiki, yeah, it was a wonderful yashiki versus it was probably a wonderful yashiki. So period makes it probably. It probably was a wonderful mansion. Hi. Quite, quite wonderful mansion. So altogether, what did the mm. mansion Katsuteli look like? So altogether, previously, the front entrance uh, are pillars that are lining up, and that uh, the windows, all the windows are shiny. They polish up, and they are quite wonderful. Hey, the uh, mansion. This mansion is quite yeah. wonderful. Probably so. The katsute goes with the datta. So he's saying formerly the mansion was um quite wonderful with polished windows and pillars outside of it. Probably though. I, I don't actually know. I wasn't there. Hi. Keredo Sorewa. Keredo Sorewa. Haruka Mukashi Mokoto. Right. He say, yeah. however, Kerido. Yep. Uh, Sorewa, that. That thing is Haruka, Mars, Haruka Mukashi a long time ago. Yes. No. A thing of long That's time ago. That's just the thing. Of or that just was a long time ago. Ima no yashiki wa the mansion now mado toyu mado ga all the windows um hipiware they broken 
Yep, they they're dirty, cracked. Maybe it is cracked. Okay. They crack. Oh, como te, te, como te, 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 cloudy. Right. Um, susumi, susuma mire no, ishi no, yama no yoda. Right. Susuma like mire. Yep, it's like a mountain of what? Like a mountain of rocks. Right. That, um. A mountain of rocks that um susuma mire. Okay. This is very similar uh, to hokori mamire that we've seen in the past. Oh, I guess later on in this chapter. Hokori mamire. Susuma mire. Hokori mamire. Wait, what does this mean? Um, Mamire, uh, they piled up, right? Like a um, mountain of rocks. Close. Rock Mamire up. is to be smeared, basically, to be to cover something. So the rocks, the, the mountain of rocks, are is covered in the susu. Soot. Yep, soot. Black soot. Right? Yep, so rather soot. than being covered in, in dust, it's covered in soot. Do you have any idea why the house is covered in soot rather than covered in dust? This is a memory check from a long time ago. Um, Something about the chimney, right? That's a good guess. That is a super duper good guess. But a while ago, the Duchess wrote a letter to Nobody saying, "You casting spells that use um, fireworks is illegal. Do not do it again. So the reason why the house is covered in soot, which is the thing that comes when you light something on fire, is because uh, he blew up his house. Um, and now it's a Pipe. mountain of rubble and covered in soot. Hi. Uh, Gengkan Kobira Ga Atawa at the place where the front door sh should be. Hi. Um, Yashiki no man naka, or is it man to money? Sorry, uh, man naka. Yeah. Man naka. Right. The way you know no, is that man... two is the married reading of that, and this n mm, is a spacer between the kanji for ma. We just can't say ma naka. That glottal stop has to be an n, because that is what happens if you make a glottal stop after saying after I mean before an n sound. Ma an ma naka. Um, ni de. Kai de kai ishi o do sun do sun to oto shita mitai ni bokari to aite iru um this mean uh so the Something drop a rock. Uh yeah. Uh, don't su so don't su to o to shi ta mi tai ni. It seems like a rock was dropped in what way? Don't su to. Right, that's just the don don't kind of sound. Like it. It was a loud ah, rock, basically. Like a Heavy, mm. heavy fall, <laughs> and it fall at the location that is Yashiki no man, 
Naka ni in the Hi. middle of the mansions. Hi. But the man Naka, the Naka is the middle, but the man is like the exact middle. Yes. Right, Moni? Yep. The... If you said um, Yashiki no Naka, that just means inside of the mansion, not the middle of the mansion. So two very different meanings. In the inside as well yeah. as the, in the middle of um bokari to aite iru bokari to aite iru meaning um bokari to is a sound effect it is a sound effect yeah, aite iru aite iru is to exist Nope, that is no. aru, which becomes atte. Aite, I... you say ite, that means it comes from ku, like aruku, aruite, kaku, kaite. That's as far as I'm um... Tsuku, tsuite. <laughs> so Sorry, aku. Mani, they <laughs> fireworks around me. Oh. They're, it's, they're two days early. It's what, well, quite early, but <laughs> it's what um this book is about, isn't it? Fireworks. So, so. Uh, I, uh, so I think is um it's to be open. Yes, to be open. Perfect. What is open? What is gaping open? Uh, Uh, bakarito meaning gaping. Right. On the um, the basho, right? Yes, which is at the manaka. So that was with another correct answer. Um, what do you think should have been located in the middle of the mansion? It should have lo. It should have had the uh, the tobira there right it should have been a door but it said it was wide open as if someone had dropped a rock in it so this mitai right. do you know why this is being used rather than yo because i just know you always like to think about that what are we right. focusing so he on used in mitai. we are focusing on the similarity between the appearance yes exactly focusing it on the appearance so if you said yoni that would actually be focusing more on the action that caused that. Like, um, perhaps you might say, like, this right here could have been describing, um, like, bowling pins. The bowling pins were collapsed like someone had thrown a ball in there. In which case, you're focusing more on the action of throwing than the outcome, basically, of the rock landing there, making the hole. Hi. Yashiki no, I'm sorry, we read that. Um, You're right, it's Yashiki. Oh no. Yashiki no manaka wa okiku egurareta yoni natte iru ga sono ryo gawa ni haimono Hi. So now we have a yoni rather than mitaini. So rather than focusing on the outcome of a rock being thrown, we're now focusing more on the action of egurareta, which is to be gouged from eguru to gouge, to hollow out something. Okiku. Hollow out. Egurareta is to be hollow out. Right. A large hollow out. Okiku egurareta yoni. The f now is focusing on the action of hollowing out. The middle, the middle of the mansions, um, and that not the iru is becoming like that. Yes, 
So it came to be that it was the hollowed e out. Came to be that it was hollowed out. Onorio gawa niwa on either side of this. Imamo patemono ga no kote ita. There still stand. There are there's still buildings on either right. side. Yep, because so the middle of the mansion has been hollowed out, but there's still two mansions on the side, basically. Still the building's still standing on the other side. So now we have two sides of the mansion. Um this nokote. This is just like a refresher of how nokoru is different than nokosu. As you can see, no one was like, okay. I'm going to leave the two mansions behind, the two sides of the mansion behind, and I'm just going to dig out the middle. That's not probably what happened here. Or if it did, it doesn't matter. We're not really caring about that. We didn't purposely leave behind these two parts of the building. It just happened that these buildings are left behind by whatever caused the center to be gouged out. So they're still there, in other words. Versus no kosu means to leave behind. はい。あ、どちらも4 4 Kawara an ne ya ne kawara ya ne no sugu sita ni skosh chos chisana chisana madoga narande iru. The little windows lined up. Um, Shitani below sugu immediately below the roof that are made of um uh roof tiles. Kawara yane. Kawara yane. Hi. And um it's at the four Ochiramo. Um, hey, there is a comma here. Commas are very important in this. If there was no comma, you'd be 100% correct. That'd be marking a location or a tool. But when there's a comma after de or te, that is the te form that means and. Hi. So it's dochiramo uh, yong. Yonkai, yonkai, that de, de. Uh, whichever, whichever direction, or whichever one, either one of the building. Right. Um, yonkai, that de, de. For, for what? For things. Right. So we're talking about. That's a good guess, but we've already been told how many buildings there are with the word Ryogawa. How many buildings are left over from the explosion? Two. Yes. The building split into two. It used to be one, but the middle was hollowed out, so it made two through osmosis. So we know there's two buildings. Dochira is the counter for two. Two things. Which one? Just like dono, which we saw earlier was dono madomo, but dono is used with more than two. So dochira and ryo are both in agreement that we're talking about two things. So dochira mo means both. So you could say ryoho mo, and the sentence would not change. Right. You already said ryogawa, so, so they probably just want to use a different word. So both of them. Yonkai date. Four. So we got tate from tatemono. What does that mean? 
to stand. It kind of means that. Construct but, yeah, construction is a way I think about it. It means um to be built. If you've seen that kanji, it's it it's normally not talking about someone standing, though it could be referring to a building standing, um, which we do do that in English. The building stood even in the earthquake or something, um, in which case you can use tate for that. Um, and then kai shows up in the word kaidan. So kaidan um is stairs. There each stair is a dan. So kai datte theoretically is the datte is each um building and it's used to refer to how many stories a building is. So yon kai datte is a four story building. Yon kai datte four. So this is a really big mansion. Yes. He's saying both of them are four story tall. Yes. Um, and, and that it had roof tiles right. or tile roof. Kawara yane no sugu. Right beneath the tile roof are small windows. Tisana madoga narande iru lining up. Right. Um, yane ni hatsu nan mono mo no nan hon nan hon mono takai en totsu wa rangui ba mitai ni deko Bakoda. Okay, so now we're using mitai again, which focuses on appearances. Um, yane ni tatsu nan homo no takai en totsu wa the chimney. The Todd's chimney that have that that stand on top of the roof. Hi. That stand itself. How many None, are on the roof? No, Do we know? No. It's a I don't know, Mommy. I don't know. We have none. A number. Of... Yep. Hon is a counter for things like enpotsu, kind of long cylinderish like objects. Um, and nan is a question meaning how many cylinder objects. And mo is the same thing we saw earlier with dore mo, dochira mo, which basically makes a question word plus mo basically means all, right? All two, all whichever. So nan hon mo means there's a bunch of entotsu. It doesn't tell us the exact number that is correct, but we do know there's probably more than three, I would say. I'd be very confident in that. Because there's enough that normally if you looked at it, you couldn't just count in one second, is um is how I'd say when you use counter plus mo. It's the word for like several, I guess. So the several um, tall chimneys that are on the roof, what are they like? Rangui ba mitai ni, like the uneven teeth. Right. They are what? Deko bakoda. They are they ju they they unevenly they here yep, they're and they're there. Uneven like uneven teeth. Which definitely flows a little bit better in Japanese, I think, because ranguiba and uh, dekobako are two very different words versus uneven teeth. It's uneven, like uneven teeth. It's just the word uneven twice. I guess you could say crooked teeth, maybe? Good teeth? Uneven, uneven like crooked cro teeth? That's probably what we do in English if you had to translate the sentence. 
uh, in order to make sure you don't use the same <laughs> word twice. Um, so that is our halfway point. So I'm stop sharing and I'll see you in two seconds.